All right, it's all about calories, or at least that's what we're told. You know, the thought is that, uh, you know, according to the laws of thermodynamics, energy cannot be created, you know, just or, or, or change. It's basically, you know, move from one place to the other. And due to energy balance, calories in, calories out, so on and so forth. You guys have heard it all uh, many, many times. Now, again, that those laws of thermodynamics typically hold up in a closed system. As we know, the human body is not a closed system, but still... Uh, the, the belief is that you know calories in, calories out, only thing that matters, and that if you do lose weight by going low carb, it's because often you might not you might eat less, and you know there might be more satiety, and you just eat less, and therefore you lose you lose uh, uh, more weight. However, again, these laws of thermodynamics, which are apparently inviolable, uh, do they apply to animals equally? Right, you would assume they would, right? If that's if it applies to humans, it should apply to animals. Well, a new study, brand new study, looking at an animal model, showed that animals being fed a standard Western diet, high fat, high sugar diet, predictably got fat. Right, they got fatter and fatter. They became more and more insulin resistant. Their liver uh, started to develop signs of fatty liver disease. And this is what they did. It was interesting. They kept them on the same calorie amount. Two different groups. One group, they kept them on the standard Western high fat, high sugar diet, same amount of calories. The other group, same amount of calories, they reduced the carbohydrate component. So now they're on a high fat diet uh, with very little carbohydrate. And guess what happened? Well, according to the laws of thermodynamics, they should continue on the same path. But that's not what happened. The group that was fed the Western diet, the high fat, high sugar diet, continued to gain weight. Their liver continued to get sicker and sicker. They became more and more insulin resist resistant. Whereas the group that ate the low carb yet equal calorie amount started to see their weight level off and actually start to come down. They saw their insulin resistance improve. They saw their fatty liver normalize. So what does this say? That maybe it's not just about calories. Maybe there is a unique metabolic effect. They saw upregulation of a uh, gene called FASN, which kind of dictates something called de novo lipogenesis, how the liver stores fat. And so we had different differential regulation of the gene caused by the different macronutrient comp composition of the diet. So again, you know, all the people out there saying that, hey, there's a difference between high carb and, and low carb um, due to things like insulin, you know, seems like there's something there, guys. And so it may explain why some of you guys see uh, similar results, you know, and it may be that there's a threshold, you know, because one of the, one of the uh, criticism, and my friend Ben Bickman pointed this out, is one, there's no human, there's no equivalent human studies that have done like this, although some of us may have done our own N equals one and might find a similar result. But, you know, typically whenever they do a, a reduced calorie diet by reducing carbs, by reducing fat, by reducing whatever, calories in general, you see a fall in insulin. And again, if insulin is required for fat storage, which it apparently, you know, is, then by reducing it on any diet is going to cause less fat storage. But when you're in a high insulin state, overconsumption of calories, reducing the carbohydrates causes the insulin to come down and thus has a differential effect on how we tend to store fat. Remember, these, these animals are on a low carbohydrate diet, favored fat oxidation rather than fat storage which again has implications across the board metabolically. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Does this surprise any of you guys? Have you guys experienced a similar uh, situation where you went from, say, standard sort of junk diet, overweight, and then just dropped carbs and saw your, your weight fall and your markers improve? Anyway, interesting stuff. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.